What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and we have an updated roadmap for PGA Tour 2K23 with actual dates, uh, so we can get a better timeline of about what's coming. So I'm gonna cover that today, and also make some predictions on when I think things are coming, and let's get on with this, everybody. So, as we take a look at this, we have the, the, every, the contents are the same for the previous mode roadmap they posted. The only change is that there's actual dates now. Uh, so we have the items that are already out. So the ball spread and dude perfect apparel is already out now. Then coming in December, we have Barstool Golf and then Grayson. And then again in December, we have a, play, a new playable character or pro. We're not quite sure. Is that a PGA pro? Is it a celebrity character? Uh, we don't know yet. And then we also have a new golf course, Torrey Pines. So we do have a golf course coming in December. So now when in December are both of these coming? I don't know. My guess would be early December for the first two. Grayson, Barstool Golf, and then late December, maybe around Christmas or New Year's for Torrey Pines and the new playable character. And then we have 100 Thieves coming in January. I'm not sure if this is only their apparel brand or if they're actually bringing playable characters from 100 Thieves, such as Nade Shot. Uh, that we don't know yet. And then the big one, right? The big question mark. So we know season two is coming next year, pro January, season two. But when? We don't have the official date on when ranked matchmaking or crossplay is coming. We do know it's coming season two. Uh, so that could be any time within there. Uh, so we have ranked matchmaking, crossplay, and then Under Armour and Callaway coming. But this is huge. And the reason I say this, if I've been playing these games since the very first golf club game, right? This is the series. Golf Club, Golf Club 2, Golf Club 2019. PJ Tour 2K21 and PJ Tour 2K23. They have never been this transparent like they've been with this game. They have never had patch notes. They've had like five patches so far. And with patch notes, that's unheard of. So this is a great sign to me. We are getting information. They're actually giving us dates. They're giving us a roadmap of what's to come. They're patching the game. Yes, the game still needs a lot of patches and bug fixes, right? Especially for online play. But this gets me excited because we see rank and crossplay coming. That gives them time to flesh out the bugs and get online working a little bit better before crossplay and rank matchmaking come. Because if rank matchmaking and crossplay drops today, their servers and with the way the game's playing online right now, it wouldn't be able to handle it. So this gives them time to actually iron out a few things, get it running smooth. Besides, if they launch crossplay and rake play now, I mean, people would jump in, it would either crash the servers or there'd be so many disconnects, people would just quit the game. So it has to be a smooth running servers, no disconnects. Well, maybe some disconnects, every game has that, but much less frequent before we see ranked and crossplay. But when I see this, this makes me think that ranked or crossplay is coming late January or sometime in February. So it could be any time within season two. And we know it's coming before Under Armour and Callaway. But if we think about it, what else? What what is coming out at that same time, everybody? What big? Yeah, the new EA Sports golf game. EA Sports Road to the Masters is coming out April, uh, end of March or early April. So, it also could be that they pick this release date because they want to release right before and do heavy marketing before EA comes out to try to get players into this game with crossplay and ranked matchmaking if they do it really well with the hopes that the new EA golf game is not going to do very well that maybe they think that it's going to be just like Rory McIlroy the last golf game they did that was one of the most critically hated uh, golf games and honestly one of the uh, it was just not a good golf game in my opinion it was not a good golf game at all but a lot and a lot of people had that belief it's just not a complete golf game this just wasn't enough content so they could be thinking you know let's let's take down our competition by releasing a huge update a lot of content right before that game comes out but that's a brave strategy for me is because that's when EA is going to go heavy into marketing, right? So EA is going heavy. They're going to have trailers. They're going to have gameplay overviews at that time. Like they're going to go heavy into marketing their game around that same time. 
So it's a tough timing and I see why they're doing it and I think it could be huge. I can also see the other side of it where is that too late? Is ranked matchmaking and crossplay too late coming in season two? We've seen a lot of games in the past released a rank mode or a big features too late after the game had launched and the player base had already left and not enough player base came back to the game. I don't foresee that happening. I foresee a lot of people jumping back in for rank, rank matchmaking and crossplay with new players coming in. Now, whether they stay, that depends on how good the ranked matchmaking is and how well the crossplay and functionality of everything works. So exciting times. I'm really excited about the transparency that the developers are doing. I'm, I'm, I mean, the patch notes, like this is something we've never had in this series, right? So like transparency, roadmap, we have sound dates. We don't have to sit there just like, when is crossplay coming? Like we know we can set it aside and be like, okay, it's coming season two. We know when it's coming. We'll be ready when it comes. Uh, so let me know what you all think. What's your predictions down below on when ranked and crossplay is coming? Are you guessing January? Are you guessing February? Are you guessing right before EA game, like early March? Anything can happen, but stay tuned to the channel. You're going to see plenty more PGA 2K23 news and EA Sports Road to the Masters when we get more news on that game. Exciting stuff coming for golf fans. I hope we get awesome, two awesome golf games. I hope we get two awesome golf games. That's what I'm rooting for. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe to stay up to date on all things gaming and i will see you in the next one if you want more content from me you can check out gamer ability 2 my second channel i post a lot of a lot of content gaming content over there but recently i've been posting my tgc tours competitive rounds for pga 2k 23 we will be doing a full god of war ragnarok playthrough over there starting soon uh, so i will see you here on this channel and over there as always have a fantastic day everybody